Let's write the chemical and structural formula for propanoic acid. So the first thing we note, we have this prefix P-R-O-P. When we see this prefix prop, we're thinking one, two, three carbons. So we're gonna have three carbons. And when we see O-I-C followed by acid, that's gonna be a carboxylic acid. We'll have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and then an OH group. And then that R, that's the rest of the molecule. That's the other carbons that we're talking about. So let's move this up here and write the formula for propanoic acid. So for prop, that's those three carbons we talked about. And then we're gonna add that double bonded oxygen and this OH. We could put it on this carbon or this carbon here. Let's just put it over here. So we have three carbons, and then right here, this is our carboxylic acid. That's why it's called propanoic acid. Each carbon needs four bonds. We have one, two, three, four for this carbon. This carbon has one, two, so let's put hydrogens on this. This carbon here has one bond, so let's put three hydrogens around it. So this is our structural formula for propanoic acid. Let's take a look at the chemical formula. So we could just count the atoms up to get the formula. One, two, three carbons, two oxygens, and one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens. That gives us, and this is the correct ratio of atoms. It's probably better though to write the formula to show the structure within the formula. Here's how we do that. So we have CH3 on the end here, that's a methyl group, CH3, and we have the CH2, and then here on the end, we have our carboxylic acid, this right here, COOH. We'll just write out COOH. And this is probably a better way to write the formula for propanoic acid. Sometimes you'll see these two oxygens combined here. So you have CO2H like this. And that also shows our carboxylic acid as well. This is Dr. B with the structural and chemical formula for propanoic acid. Thanks for watching.